To create a multi-step form with the Frame of Forms plugin, you'll first start by clicking the New Form button and then pressing Multi-Step Form. It's going to put a multi-step form on the canvas for us and we're just going to drag it onto the page and then I'm just going to center it as well. So each step on the multi-step form is called a page. And if we want to add a new page, we can go into our Layers panel and duplicate one of our pages. I'll duplicate page 3 and rename both the layer and the label to page 4. And then I'm just going to go into page 3 and delete the checkbox so that I can add an input to that page. But before I do that, I'm going to take a look at some of the ways that we can take your form to the next level with some of these components. So what I might do is we've already got this current page label. So I'm going to grab this progress bar. So I'm just going to add a progress bar here. And that's going to put it just wherever I was selecting. So I'm just going to cut it and I might put it at the top of the form. Just at the top of the form, just like that. Cool. So with our form progress bar on the form, I'm just going to go ahead and hit next add form inputs. And I'm going to select page three, making sure to select the parent layer, not just the text layer. And I'm going to go ahead and search for a slider and then just drag that in just like that. Then I'm going to hit next and it's going to prompt us to connect our form. So I'm going to connect mine to my email and then we can hit next again. We won't power up our form just yet with conditional logic or pre-fill form inputs. So we'll just hit done and we're going to preview our page. Cool. So it's almost done. It's looking like we're just getting a bug here where the submit button just needs to be double clicked so that we can unlink the instance and then we'll just right click it and we'll set it as the submit button. And then we can hit preview again and it's all working as it should. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and make the submit button only show on a certain page, we can hook that up by adding a custom page for the submit button to show. And we're just going to type in the name here. So I'm going to type in page three instead of page four. I'm just going to hit add and preview again. And we'll just see if it shows up on page three. There you go. Cool. And then the last thing I'll show you guys is just how we can customize some of the components here. So we've got our next and previous buttons and I'm just going to go ahead and change the color. I'll change it to a really vibrant red. I probably wouldn't recommend changing it to this color, but just for the sake of education, change that one to purple. Then I'm going to hit preview again and you can see it's changed to how we want it to look. And you can go ahead and check out all of the components and how they're customized. Most of them are really easy to figure out. You guys can probably figure it out yourself. So I hope that helped and I'll see you guys later.